and welcome back to Two Nerds on a Couch. I'm Beth. Have you ever thought about some of the things that they've added into Fortnite and how it relates to the real world? Well, today we are going to get extra nerdy and talk about the real world science behind the new POI that was recently added to the Chapter 3 Season 2 map. In Update 20.4, we received the new POI called the Collider. By the way, when you touch the Collider, you get repelled away faster than when you went in. <laughs> it's a blast! Currently in the world of particle science, we know about atoms, which are the basic units of all elements. We also know that atoms are composed of particles called protons, neutrons, and electrons. These protons and neutrons can be broken down to even smaller particles called quarks. At this time, quarks are believed to be the fundamental building blocks of all particles. Generally speaking, three quarks combine to make a proton or a neutron, but scientists have broken down quarks into even smaller bits. The smallest measurable space between these super subatomic particles are called zero point particles. Huh. Zero point. That sounds pretty gosh darn familiar to anyone who has played Fortnite. In real life, scientists believe it is possible to collect these zero point particles, and the resulting collection will create energy. It is thought that because there is so much space between these super subatomic particles, that zero point energy is nearly infinite. Some scientists also theorize that collections of zero-point energies can be molded. Now that we have a basic understanding of particles, we can get back to that collider. In the real world here on Earth, there is something in CERN, Switzerland called the Large Hadron Collider, and it is used by scientists to study different theories related to particle physics. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. The way it works is very intricate, but in simple terms, there are multiple sets of different sized loops that the particles are pushed through. As the particles go through each consequential loop, they speed up and gain mass. The end result is that the particles collide. Due to this collision, there is a relatively large energy dispersal, causing quarks and other super subatomic particles to be flung about. With the parallels between what we know regarding the Large Hadron Collider and the Collider POI that the Imagined Order constructed at Loot Lake, that leaves only a few options for what the IAO's end goal might be. We have three working theories about their end goal. <laughs> Look at us being all scientific and creating theories! Before we reveal our theories, please consider tapping that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Also, we'd like to thank everyone so much for using support of creator code 2 nerds on a couch, as it really means a lot to us and helps us create these types of videos for you. Now, let's cover those theories. Our first working theory is that the I.O. is using the Collider to generate a large amount of energy to power the most diabolical doomsday device they've ever created, Mecha Caddis. Using the DNA harvested from the remains of the original monster, they have created a new, more powerful monster. And to ensure its victory, and their control over it, they have crafted countless mechanical components that give them absolute control and enough firepower to destroy any who challenge them. The second working theory has us sticking with the Collider being an energy generating apparatus, but this time Io is using it to power a more conventional doomsday weapon, such as a super laser to pierce through the sky. So far, the Collider has shot out giant energy waves into the sky on four separate occasions. 
This is because Dr. Sloan and the Imagined Order might be planning to create some sort of wormhole to another planet or universe that other factions of the IO are controlling. Once the two planets or universes are joined by this wormhole, they will use it to bring in even more forces to fight against the Seven and win the war. Our last working theory here is that the Imagined Order is planning to use the Collider to smash particles continuously into the zero point to force another black hole. This Fortnite theory ties back into real-world science, as it has been suggested by physicists at the Large Hadron Collider that the formation of a tiny quantum black hole may be possible. The formation of a black hole, as caused by the Collider POI, would greatly benefit the Imagined Order since they have been getting thoroughly beaten this season and it would provide a reset similar to the previous black holes between chapters 1 and 2. While it is apparent that the IO are desperate and will do anything to turn the tides back in their favor, recent storyline data shows us that they will not succeed with any of these possible plans. Generator is live. One more key. Activate the simulation. The Imagined Order will be stopped by none other than Singularity, aka The Paradigm, and the mech she piloted in the defeat of the Polar Peak Monster back in Chapter 1, Season 9. Will the mech take out the Collider before IO can use it to destroy all reality? Or will IO succeed? What are your predictions about the Collider and how it will be used? Let us know in the comments below! Thank you so much for watching! Don't forget to use code 2 on a couch in the item shop, and we'll see you next time!